Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a kind of top five ranking video for a set brand. This is a series I've been enjoying watching on the channel of Things by the Berk, whose channel I will link in the description box below. So when I had a look at my own products to see which of the brands kind of appear most often and what my top five products are from those brands. I managed to come across a couple of brands where it was quite easy to pick my top five items. So I'm going to sit down now and film both those videos and then I'm not too sure when I will upload them, but we have two separate brands. The first one being Colourpop, which is today's video. And then I also have my top five for Tarte, which will be in a following video. So for today, let's get into my top five for Colourpop. The first one is the No Filter Concealer. And for this, I am in the shade Light 16. This is definitely one of my favourite concealers that I've tried as of late. It is such an easy concealer to work with. It is nice and blendable. The colour match for me is pretty spot on. And I know Andrea Mattigliano does use this as foundation as well. And I can see why. I personally haven't tried that yet. But it does tempt me to possibly just take a tube of this on holiday with me rather than taking a foundation as well because if I do end up having to apply this over quite a lot on my face it still blends in no problem. On um, an everyday occurrence for me I don't tend to wear foundation I just tend to kind of spot conceal and cover any redness with a concealer. Obviously in some days I do need more coverage than others so I can end up going in with quite a lot of concealer not a whole face yet but quite a lot so I'm thinking I might give it a go to try it as a foundation because I do think it would work really well. I do have a separate concealer that I apply to my under eyes just my personal preference it's what I've always done but on a few occasions when I've been in a bit of a pinch I've had to apply this under my eyes and it has no problem performing there either so overall a great concealer and say one of the best I've tried in the past sort of 12 months so I would highly recommend this and you can't go wrong with the price either. Next we have an eyeshadow palette. This is the You Had Me At Hello eyeshadow palette. Obviously eyeshadow palette is one of the main things that Colourpop are known for. They bring out a new palette pretty much every single week but because it's not as easy for us to get Colourpop here in the UK and we do have to order online there are quite a few of their palettes that I've not actually picked up because of the cost of shipping and, and taxes and everything like that. So I do actually only own a couple of their eyeshadow palettes but one of my favourites out of the ones that I own is definitely this one. So this is your kind of neutrals with your mauves, purples and browns and is a great everyday eyeshadow palette. But you can also use it to kind of create a more nighttime smoky look if you wish. I do have one of their £9 palettes and obviously I have this one which is one of their £12 palettes. And I definitely prefer the performance of the shadows in the £12 as compared to the £9. So it would be more this size of palette from theirs I would be more interested to try. One I do have my eye on, which I think kind of drifts in and out of stock with them, is the, is it called the Double Entendre palette, which I think is another neutral one. But this was the first palette that I ever tried from them and it did make me fall in love with this formula. So this is a great palette and I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, I would highly recommend picking it up. The next product we have is one of their Just A Tint lip crayons. This is one of the kind of newer lines to their website. But they now have every different shade you can possibly imagine. I did actually purchase this one on a bit of a whim in order to get free shipping. I placed an order at some point in the past six months and what I had in my basket came to 40 something dollars and to get free shipping to the UK you need to spend over 50. I think it was within a few weeks of them actually releasing these so I just threw this one in the basket which is in the shade Gimme Small. I say it was just too little to get free shipping. Boy am I glad I did this. This has been a lifesaver over the colder months. It is just a wind up crayon. As you can see, it's well loved. It is such a gorgeous shade. It is kind of a peachy brown shade. And I think it does smell a bit peachy as well. I can't quite put my finger on the scent, but I think it is a kind of peachy passion fruit kind of scent. So it smells amazing. It does taste quite nice as well when you do end up getting it in your mouth. And it is just a really nice kind of, shiny but not too shiny flush of colour but also so moisturising. This permanently sits in my handbag and I'm regularly applying it throughout the course of the day. Especially because I'm a liquid lipstick wearer, I do put liquid lipstick on every morning and some of the drier formulas come lunchtime are looking a bit worse for wear. 
so I just tend to put this over the top and my lips look good as new and also don't feel dry anymore so next time I place a Colourpop order I will definitely be throwing a couple of these in the basket because I think they are great and I think they're only about seven dollars each. Then we have another lip product and this is one of the lippy sticks. This one is in the shade Can't Wait which for me is quite a dark shade but formula wise I really like them. I did think they were going to be slightly drying but they're not at all. This is in the Matte X formula. They do also, I think, have them in a cream formula, which I don't think I've tried, or if I have, I think it might have been a shade that I didn't like. But for a matte bullet lipstick, the, they don't tug on the lips at all. They do stay in place a really long amount of time, but they also fade quite nicely. The reason why I haven't purchased more of these since getting this one is because I literally cannot decide on a shade. I say, I think I have tried the cream formula, but the shades of that just did not work for me at all. But on the website, it looked like it was going to be a nice shade. So it's kind of put me off purchasing any more because I don't know the shade representations of them. But formula wise, I do really enjoy them. And I think I would purchase more if it didn't have anything else to order, if that makes sense. Usually when I'm ordering, there's something new of theirs I want to try. So I'll never go back to kind of one of my old favourites with them but would recommend them if you haven't tried them and I think they are nice and compact and because of the size of the actual bullet you do get great precision with them as well so I do recommend these two. And then the final product is another lip product but you know a massive fan of lipstick and this is their Lux lipstick formula and this is in the shade Still Crazy. I do actually own four of this formula, I think this is the cream formula but this is by far my favourite shade, it is such a gorgeous warm rosy pink shade i have another one which for the life of me i can't remember the name of it now but it's more of a nudie brown and then i have two from the disney princess range they say they're also cream lux lipstick but for me they're slightly more drying than these but i've actually got my mum liking this formula as well she's got this exact same shade and is going through it so fast but she also doesn't have as many other lipsticks as i have but she really loves it as well it's super comfortable it takes a good while to fade down and even when it does it does fade down gracefully and it's not obvious when it's fading obviously it could be due to the colour but this would be a lipstick that I would be tempted to possibly try in a red shade because I think it'd hold quite well in a red shade and if money was no object and me having even more lipsticks than I do was not an issue I would order so many more of these because I do love this formula and I think before this kind of slightly pipped it. This would have been my favourite all time product from Colourpop. But I think because these are just so moisturising and I've been using them so much this winter, I think just about I love these a little bit more. But overall, definitely not been many bad products that I've tried from Colourpop. They do, considering how fast they churn makeup out, they never kind of skip on quality and their prices are always affordable. Yes, okay, they are starting to creep up slightly. I've noticed their past couple of nine pan eyeshadow palette releases have jumped up from 12 to $14. And also their 12 pan palettes are now kind of in the $18 range, whereas they used to be $16. But obviously inflation, I get that. And you still can't fault them for quality. So I do really recommend most of the things I've tried from Colourpop. But these are definitely my top five. So that is it for today's video. So stay tuned because I will be doing my top five top products that I've tried. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.